My name is Agnès Binaguao. I'm the Vice Chancellor of the University of Global Health Security. I came back to Rwanda in 96, two years after the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. At that time, the country was destroyed and all health sector was dysfunctional. I am proud to have been part of my country journey towards reconstruction. What we have done to improve Rwandan health sector is the result of clear political decision and the goodwill to implement an inclusive development, leaving no one out of benefit and targeting all sectors of the nation. Most importantly, I have personally contributed in reshaping the Rwandan health sector for the better because in all the positions I have handled, I have adopted the principle of implementation science. Yes, we have adopted policy that are evidence-based to ensure that each person will have a better life and better health care and that no one should be condemned to heal health because of their socioeconomic status. After five years of clinical service in a hospital, four years as Executive Secretary of the National AIDS Control Commission, three years as Permanent Secretary and five years as Minister, I am proud to have implemented that vision, designed those policies with many other colleagues and implement the implementation science principle. We broken barriers related to gender, age, geographic access to health, and financial situation. And doing so, we create a platform of health service delivery that leaves no one out, especially the most vulnerable. Now, taking the experience of what I have learned by doing, and also based on the success of partner in health service delivery, as well as other best practice across the world, we train now the new, a new generation of clinicians, health managers, policy makers to tackle underperforming areas of health sectors in all types of settings for more efficiencies. In Rwanda, we are able to foster an incredible improvement in health by developing that type of delivery platform that serves Rwanda in a participatory manner, reaching them where they are living in their home, in their village. We have three community health workers in all 15,000 villages. The community health workers need to fulfill some criteria, but they are elected by their peers in their village. And when they are elected, the mission of the Ministry of Health is to educate them. The peer election of community health workers by member of the village create trust. The education the minister give them, the ministry give them, create also trust. Because of the innovative approach used in Rwanda, we have achieved better results than in the U.S. in some sensitive program, such as HIV response. We have our people survive it longer with less drugs, with generics, with less infectious disease specialists, and less lab. We have also a better childhood vaccination program. And those success are anchored in the community health service delivery platform, which will be an ideal complement to the high tech health services the US already benefits. We have so doubled our life expectancy. We have also, I am proud to say, the kids among the best vaccinated on us. 93% of our boys and girls are vaccinated for 11 vaccines, and 93% of girls have an additional vaccine, HPV vaccine. Another great program we have implemented in the same way is managing our health sector using e-health. And for this, we have created a platform with 13 ICT tools that help us to manage everything from infrastructure to health professional. And for example, the supply chain management from the central level in the capital city, at the custom where the drugs arrive, up to each community health workers at village level. 
And the same for reporting in, in the other sense, meaning we collect all epidemiologic data from the village up to the central level, even the emerging NCDs information, and this allows us to know what happened in the country. And it's not because of money, because we are still poor with less than $800 per capita. I assure you that it's not only about money. It's more about how you design, how you implement, how you develop your health service platform delivery. It's also about innovating because we need to create a health sector, a health platform delivery that fits your culture and your environment. Because culture and environment differ all across the world. However, each and every human being deserves the same excellent outcome, but done with adaptive approach. I can support the U.S. and the Task Force on Global Advantage Program by sharing our experience of designing and building a health service platform delivery. Also, by discussing the principle of implementation science that are behind our success. I can also do it by sharing our experience in training for quality community health service. And this will make countries save money, encourage local involvement in health service delivery, and ultimately save life by ensuring that, for example, no American dies because they are too poor, too old, or too far from quality medical care. If we in Rwanda have succeeded in doing so with our limited resources, then the U.S. should not fail to achieve it because you have all the necessary resources and tools to, for success. You have educated medical personnel, you have roads to reach the clients, and you have also the resources to provide services where and when they need them. Now you need to put all those resources together in the right order to create Need the needed enabling environment for success.